Hello and welcome to another episode of my tube chassis Porsche 914. This time we got some good sheet metal work. We got the rear firewall, the floor, pedal box, and some good engine work. So let's get into the work. Last episode I put together my Subaru EJ25. Now it's finally time for some finishing touches that actually make it look like a Subi motor. I got my intake, valve covers, and motor mounts powder coated. Powder coat is a kind of paint that is sprayed on in powder form and then baked onto the metal. It's super tough, long lasting, and very shiny. Eventually, I'm going to get my entire car powder coated black. Off camera, I ported my TGV valves, which originally had emission stuff in them that looked a lot like this. But now that they are ported, they allow for much better airflow and generally look a lot better. The intake was also port matched to it and I spent way too much time removing threaded bosses, casting lines, and generally smoothing it up. Compared to a factory intake, which this started out as, I think is a major improvement on all fronts. The alternator brackets in the front pulley will end up being replaced by newer, better components. However, for now, they're good enough to get the motor to start on its own. Between episodes, I added a lot to my fuel cell cage. It took all my patience to do, but now I can happily cover it up with sheet metal. I made a whole lot of templates and then brought them over to my friend's shop to stomp shear them into sheet metal. Like before, all the panels get bead rolled to strengthen them and to keep the car from sounding like someone dropped a silverware drawer. Before welding, I sprayed some of the tight areas I won't see for a long time with Toolbox Buddy. This keeps them from rusting after they're covered up. I then laid out my welds to ensure they have an even appearance. I cannot suggest to you enough one of these printed out fraction to decimal charts. If you're doing this and live in the stupid system, get one. For now the third year in a row, I now have a bird living in my garage. I will post updates as I get them. Welding in sheet metal is a very time consuming process. I start with the most visually critical area and then I work out from there. As you weld, the metal will get pulled every which way so it's best to start in the place you care about most. Before I cover up the fuel cell, I'm adding in place to strengthen the area where bulkhead fittings will go through. Bulkhead fittings will allow fuel out of the firewall, yet still allow the fuel tank to be removable.
While I was at my friend's shop cutting out pieces, I also made this stupidly hard to make piece. It's the pedal box area and it has a ton of bends. If you ever use a brake, you will understand. Body hammers are incredibly useful for sheet metal work. It closes up small gaps and makes it far easier to weld because this stuff is not easy. The steering shaft runs right through the pedal box, so I'm using this fancy but hard to cut seal. It will sit under the metal for a very clean little look. A handy little trick is you can use a bigger drill bit to help deburr the hole you just drilled. I then prepared to install the floor by cleaning up the underside of the seat rails. As you can tell, I did not like this process at all because it hurt a lot. A long time back, I made these floor panels, but it's finally time I get to burn them in. Okay, so that's another episode down. Sheet metal work has come out very good. That took me so much longer than it probably looked like on camera. Obviously, it's still all tacked in for now, but it will not be tacked in in the future, and that will take me just like a few days to weld what I have now. Other than that, the motor, it's beautiful. All the work I put into the intake manifold totally paid off. I'm so glad that I went to the extent of taking like the seam line out and taking all those stud holes out. All that totally paid off, and that is the most beautiful factory intake I think I've ever seen. Next episode, I'm hoping, is just the final couple little things that I need to start putting in lines and eventually wires. So rear, rear half of the fuel cell firewall will get done, and then a couple reinforcements, a couple cleanups, and I think that is good to go motor back in. So if you don't want to miss that, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you guys are awesome. This car is awesome. Thank you.